Hey everyone and welcome back to Prefusion. I'm Anish and today we're going to discuss about MTech admissions in IIT Gandhinagar. So here IIT Gandhinagar has put out the notification that they will admit students like without GATE score and still they will receive stipend but you have to fulfill certain criteria. So we will discuss about those and to which departments you will uh, be able to apply that, that also we will discuss and what are those like criteria for uh, other people like if, the, if you don't satisfy those criteria then how can you get admission in IIT Gandhinagar that also we will discuss. So let's start. This is the early admit MTech program 2024-2025 phase 2 of IIT Gandhinagar. So IIT Gandhinagar invites application from BTEC students from select institutes. So only select institutes are eligible obviously not all institutes are eligible that is the first thing to note here uh, so they will start their curriculum in july 2024 so what is the eligibility criteria these three are the eligibility criteria like if you have to satisfy either of these three either not all of them so if you are a final year btech student or equivalent undergraduate degree in engineering from nits if you are from nits then you are eligible but you have to have a cgp or cpi cpi at, of at least eight gpa for general EWS and OBC uh, candidates or CPI slash CGP of not less than 715 for SCST and PW can candidates at the end of their third year, not at the final year, at the end of their third year. Okay, and uh, if you are a final year BTEC or equivalent undergraduate degree students from select colleges, now including NITs, what are the select colleges? I will discuss. Like they have mentioned, like how you know if you are, uh, like if, if you are from one of those colleges, that I will say later on this video and who are among the top five rank holders in the departments at the end of their third year okay so if you are among your top five members uh, in the third year uh, among your college among your department then you are eligible for general ews and opc and if you are in the top 10 uh, at the end of their third year for uh, for candidates who are uh, scst and pwd and uh, categories now uh, another what is another criteria students who belong to IITs. so if you if you belong to IITs and your cgpa or cpi is not at least at least six uh, at the end of your third year then also you are eligible so these three are the criteria whichever one you satisfy you can apply through that okay now what are the highlights gate score is not mandatory for admission if you if you apply through gate score there will be some benefits okay uh, fellowship of 15000 400 per month for candidates with valid gate score so if you apply with gate score you will receive 15400 okay uh, of fellowship or 6000 so if you apply without gate score you will receive 6000 per month okay candidates can choose to appear for gate for a boost in stipend so like if you want a boost in stipend you can choose to appear for gate so you can choose to apply through gate like travel support to the extent of 60000 for attending international conferences so like if you like uh, do mtech there so you will you will be given 60000 up to 60000 rupees for attending international conferences so these are the disciplines biological science engineering chemical engineering civil engineering computer science and engineering artificial intelligence earth system sciences electrical engineering integrated circuit design technology and materials engineering and mechanical engineering so if you want to know more about this you can like ask in the comment then i will make a video else like i don't know i won't so yeah these are the things App application deadline is 20 of march so just fill before that and what i want to talk is whether your college is eligible for that or not okay for this second criteria so for the second criteria they have mentioned the eligibility criteria and here if you check that they have mentioned that final year btech students from select colleges who are among the top five rank uh, in the departments the same thing they have mentioned like how to check whether you are one of the select colleges you have to check with your hod slash director of your college if your college is included in the list of select colleges the department of the respective institute will be required to issue a rank certificate so you have to check with your HOD slash director okay if you are if your college is included in the list or not okay that is very important you have to check with your HOD and if it is then you have to produce a rank certificate so this is the criteria that you need to fulfill so this you have to talk with your HOD so yeah these are the things that I want to tell about uh, IIT Gandhinagar this is it basically for this video and I will see you in the next video thank you for watching